Hey everyone, so quick video here. Um, I just wanted to take a moment just to kind of give you like a little look at and a little tour slash overview of the different manga box sets that I have. I actually have quite a few box sets for novels and for graphic novels, but today we're just going to look at the different box sets that I have in my manga collection. So let's get started. Um, I'm trying to make this a quick video, but it might be quite long um so let's see how it goes okay here we go i want to uh what order should i do this in? okay this is how we're gonna do it um let's start off with i guess the heaviest box set that i have it's actually in my lap right now and this is one that i really really wanted um it's actually one of the first box sets i ever ordered i found it for a really good deal on ebay um that's why i ordered it so quickly um when i started collecting my manga but here it is um the box set is called akira okay and I've heard of Akira before, um, right, I've heard of the anime, um, here's how it opens, it kind of opens like a chest, uh, like that, okay, and inside you have six volumes, okay, they're hardcover, and they have this dust jacket on them as well, I actually don't like the paper jackets that books normally come with. I feel like they're tedious. Um, and then it also has a another extra book called Akira Club, and it's kind of like a collection of the different art that you find in it. Um, and something that I found out that came with it today was a little patch that was um, in here that I guess you could put on a jacket if you're a jacket wearing person. Um, but this is probably the heaviest box set that I own. Um, I know I'm making it seem like it's pretty light by how I'm maneuvering it, but this is actually pretty heavy. Okay, so let me put this to the side and then we'll continue with our next one. Another one that you're probably used to seeing in my collection is this one, actually quite a lot lighter than the Akira box set, but this is the My Hero Academia box set. It includes volumes 1 through 20, so it's not necessarily a complete box set. Um, and I know for a fact they're probably going to release another box set whenever they release the 40th volume. Um, currently, I think we're up to volume 34 or 35. I'm not sure. I just ordered the singles from um, Right Stuff. But this is the 1 through 20 box set. And the reason that I say there might be another box set is because right below it, it actually says My Hero box set number one. I feel like they wouldn't number it if they weren't planning on releasing a number two. Um, that's just my prediction, okay? Um, I think this is a really good value, especially if you could find it on Amazon for sale like I did for 80 bucks. I feel like that, oh, I, 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 I don't regret it. Okay. My next box set that I have to um, kind of like include, I feel like it wouldn't be a manga video if I don't reference this box set, um, would have to be Tokyo Ghoul, okay? Here you go, this is the box set, that's what it looks like. I've done a review on this one, okay? So feel free to reference that video, but I feel like this was one of my first box sets I ever got, and Although I didn't read it right away, I actually read this one over winter break. Um, I read it over the course of two days. I read all six, or actually all 14 volumes um, in the matter of two days. I actually could have done it in one day. Cannot recommend this nearly enough, okay? I feel like I need to recommend this every single time I'm here making a video. Um, so please go out get this okay um it might be going out of print soon i'm not sure um i found it for about 114 dollars um so i don't i also don't think that, that was necessarily um a bad deal especially when the individual volumes go for around 12.99 um but yes here. all right the next box set i'll actually put claymore aside 
we'll do Tokyo Ghoul Re, okay? So, I actually ordered this at the same time that I ordered Tokyo Ghoul um, just regular, okay? I feel like I needed to, I have this crazy addiction um, where I need to complete everything I purchase. So even though I didn't read Tokyo Ghoul at the time, I had to order both just in case I did like it, right? Then that way I would have both. And although I love Tokyo Ghoul so much, this is actually a box set that I haven't even, like, I've taken it out of the wrapper, but I haven't even opened it. I haven't even taken out an individual volume out of this box um, because I kind of want to wait until I have a couple of days um, to spare and just sit down and read, right? Um, but this one is the one that includes 16 volumes, right? They're around the same size as the Tokyo Ghoul ones, but I believe volume 16, it's a bit thicker um, and longer, so um, that's that. These are pretty cool, okay? This one was a little bit more expensive, um, but not by much. I think this one was a little bit around 120 or maybe a little bit more, um, but yes, do not regret. Okay, next box set is Claymore. And depending on when you're watching this video, I've already recorded um, my review for this one. This is a series that was recommended to me by YouTube. Um, so I guess one of the reasons why I started it. Here you go. And it's the first box set that comes double stacked like that, like layered. Um, a set on top and then a set on the bottom. This is a complete collection of the Claymore manga. Um, there might be an anime, there might not, um, but I do enjoy this a lot. And I was reading it non-stop. It was kind of like one of those Tokyo Ghoul moments that I had where I wanted to read the whole thing. But I got to a part in the story where it felt like a natural break where you needed to, I don't know, I wanted to take a little break so I could savor it over a course of time and not necessarily just finish it in one sitting. Um, so when they go up to the north and there's kind of like a seven year, if I remember, a uh, seven year jump in time. That's where I paused. I, th I thought that that was a natural stopping point for um, what I was reading. So I figured I'd give it a break. This is something I'm going to pick up soon. I will finish reading it probably within the next week or so. I think I only have like 10 volumes left anyways. Alright, another one's actually one that just arrived quite recently. It still has the plastic in it. It's called Cells at Work. It includes all six volumes and like a little art book as well. And it says complete manga box set, but I don't know how true that is. Um, I think this might be the complete main series, but I think that there are spin-offs. Someone correct me in the comments if there are spin-offs, because every time I type it up on Amazon or write stuff, I see other different cells at work types, like baby cells at work or something like that. Um, and it's kind of confusing, but I ordered the main one, because um, it it looks good, so that's it. I, I don't really have another reason other than it looks good. Um, that's something I'm probably gonna read this week um, while I'm at work. Okay, here's another one that I really enjoyed, okay? I really like the premise of this one. It's called Assassination Classroom, right? The complete box set. Here you go. What I really like about this box set is that it shows you the cover of every single volume in the back. And they're the different faces that um, Sensei um, has throughout the series. Um, I think I saw a trailer for the anime, and this was around the beginning of where I was like starting to get into manga. I saw a trailer for the anime, so I decided to order the ma manga. Um, and here's what it looks like. 
okay. Um, I've read the first two volumes, and it's definitely something that I'm into. Um, it kind of reminds me of Persona in a weird way, um, but at the same time not. It's one of those box sets as well that I kind of want to dedicate some time to um, and not read while I'm reading like 10 different mangas at the same time. So when my backlog kind of comes down a little bit and I've caught up, I'll finally dedicate some time to this one because it's, I have a feeling it's one of those mangas that kind of like require a lot of your attention to kind of keep up with. Um, so I want to make sure that I have some time one-on-one -on -one to dedicate to it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the next one. Um, this is probably... <sighs> How do I say this? This manga box set is probably in everyone's collection. Everyone has this box set. I feel like every single person in the world, if you collect manga, if you're into Demon Slayer, you have this box set. If not, I'm sure that you have all individual volumes because you decided to collect them as they were coming out. So, I'm not too knowledgeable with Demon Slayer. I remember back when I was in college, I was uh, I watched season one, and it was when it first came out on Netflix, and I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was great. And then, you know, I, I didn't continue or catch up on it, but now that I started collecting manga, I decided, why not pick this one up, right? And it's a complete box set, so it includes all the volumes, plus a little art book, it's very tiny, um, and a poster that I'll never hang up. Again, guys, and girls and people, just tell me if you ever hang up your posters that come in box sets. I'm really curious. Um, this is really good. I'm on volume 17. I just finished volume 17, so I'm on to volume 18. This is another one that I also had to take a break from because I realized I was towards the end and I kind of didn't want to finish it just yet. All right, here is my last box set. This is a recent box set and it's the Full Metal Alchemist box set. Um, it comes in the same style as the Claymore box set, right? Here you go. And this is how it opens. Here you go. Believe it or not, this box set is a lot lighter than the Akira box set, and that might be because the Akira box set is hardcovers and these are softback. So, this has, this includes 27 volumes and it also includes the ties that bind. I'm not too familiar with Full Metal Alchemist. I just found it on sale and picked it up because why not? Um, uh, the only thing I'm aware of is that I remember watching the anime, not completely, but I remember watching the anime when I was like a wee little lad. I remember it would show up on Cartoon Network at night um, on Tanami, and I, I, I thought it was kind of like cool. <laughs> when I saw it on sale, I was like, oh, I remember that. Add to cart. Check out. All right, so with that, thank you for spending this time to look through my different manga box sets. I have a couple more on the way um, within the next two weeks, so I'll make a video as those pop up. But again, thank you. I'll see you next time.